with us today is Mr. Chirak Shah, Chief Manager Siemens, who will give us insights into flexible, efficient, and scalable megawatt PEM electrolyzer technology. Close is yours. So, thank you very much, uh, Tobias, and uh, good morning to all the colleagues who have logged in from Germany, and good afternoon to all the participants from India. And I am really thankful to IGEF and IGCC to give us this opportunity to share the insights into the offerings that we can bring into the decarbonization for not only India, but globally. And from here, I would like to share some of the details about the flexible, efficient, and scalable PEM electrolyzer technology that we are able to offer from the house of Siemens Energy. So if you're able to view my screen, I think I would be able to take it forward and give you some more details about the topic. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. So what is Siemens Energy and what is new energy business? I think we at Siemens Energy realized and understand that decarbonization is really the need of the hour, not only in India, but globally. And to get into this topic, being a technology leader, I think we have had our engagement with the Hydrogen Council and the Fuel Cell Joint Undertaking Council right from the early days, almost a decade ago. And we have been into the development of the electrolyzer technology right from the early days and set up a pilot plant also at Germany at Mainz. I will tell you more details about this project also as we move forward, but one of the highlights that I would like to really share over here is that in the end of 2019, we also have been able to set up and commission one of our lighthouse projects at Linz in Austria, which is a steel plant, Fostel Pina. And uh, that is where we have been able to replace the use of carbon emitting fuels with green hydrogen. And that is a project which I think is really a benchmark and one of its kind that has been set up globally so far. So coming back to what we can offer, I think having said all this, we at Siemens are capable not only of delivering hydrogen systems and products, but also the power to X solutions, which our earlier colleague from VDMA was elaborating. And from the house of Siemens, I think we have the capability to deliver all the power to X solutions that is required. And to begin with, I think in any project, every customer and every project needs energy consulting and a deep dive into the feasibility which is also something that we can bring on the table so i think having said all this uh, we, we spoke a lot about what needs to be done and why are we looking at all this and why is sector coupling really essential to achieve the deep decarbonization that we are all looking at we all understand that globally there is a focus on setting up green renewable energy power all over the world and what we can do from here is actually derive the green electricity or the green power and generate the green molecule which is hydrogen that we can use across the different sectors i think uh, vdma already elaborated on the different sectors where we can make the blending of the green hydrogen to get really a deep decarbonization and reduce the emissions in the country. So taking it forward, I think the key was the renewable energy source, which is actually being set up globally and also in India. I think our Honorable Prime Minister has also set up a vision that we have around 450 gigawatts of renewable energy into the system by 2030. And if we have this kind of renewable power, which is intermittent and fluctuating in nature, then I think the PEM technology or the PEM systems are the best natural choice to integrate with the renewable source. Because it not only has really good startup and shutdown cycle times, but also quite flexible to support the intermittent power supply for maintaining the good quality or purity of green hydrogen that we can produce. It also not only has cold startup capability, but also has the capability to give primary frequency response to the fluctuations of the grid. 
So looking forward, I think we said we are looking for decarbonization and green solutions. So PEM is by its natural design quite green in nature. It does not have any carbon emissions unlike the other hydrogen producing methods like SMR. And what we use into this system is nothing but water from where we derive the molecules of hydrogen and oxygen. And we are able to achieve a good hydrogen purity of 99.9%, which I think is good enough into the different derivatives that we want to produce. And of course, I think we don't have any chemical dosing into the system. So all in all, I think as a package, PEM is not only environment friendly, but also a competitive system because we heard uh, from our earlier speaker that globally we also foresee that the price of electricity or the LCOE, what we call, is expected to go down by the next few years. And in case we are able to achieve that, I think below three US dollar cents per kilowatt hours, PEM definitely will be a benchmark in achieving the green hydrogen technology. PEM, of course, also has a very small footprint if you want to implement it within your existing premises. And from the earlier explanation, I think you would understand that the operating cost for the system is also quite low. What did Siemens do actually to get into this? I think, as I mentioned, Siemens started this journey almost a decade ago with a lab scale demo electrolyzer. And over the next 10 years or in the last, let's say 10 years, we have been investing into innovation and research and development to get new products and more efficient systems into the market. Because going forward, I think we all know that efficiency is going to be the key in, in order to achieve the low cost of hydrogen that we are all talking as a buzzword in the industry. So today, I think we are in a situation where we can give a double digit product into the market, which is a 17 and a half megawatt Silizer 300 that we have from the house of Siemens. And definitely the innovation and research and development does not end here. We have in parallel our activities ongoing to come into a three digit system over the next couple of years. And of course, by the end of the decade, we also look towards a giga scale development into the technology. So with this, I think I would only quickly give you a snapshot about the existing portfolio or the existing system that we have. It's a 17 and a half megawatt PEM electrolyzer that we have, which comprises of 24 modules. And you can see from the picture over here that we have four series where the different modules are arranged and we can achieve a system efficiency of larger than 76%. So I think as an output which everyone looks forward to, we can deliver around 335 kg of hydrogen per hour when we have the system operating at full load and full capacity or full utilization. So I think just to give you a quick glimpse into the technical details of the system, because I'm sure many of you would be interested and looking forward to having or adapting the green hydrogen production on a a large scale going forward. So here is a quick snapshot of what is the system capable of delivering. I think I already mentioned we can deliver up to 335 kg per hour at an efficiency of more than 75%. And also, as I mentioned in the earlier time, the PEM technology has a very fast startup cycle of less than one minute with a ramp rate of 10% per second to go to full load. So I think also on a comparative scale, I think the entire array or the system has a lifetime of around 20 years and the modules are interchangeable. And as a feed in, I think what I mentioned earlier is that we need around 10 liters of demon water to achieve one kg of hydrogen with an extremely high purity of dry hydrogen gas. So with this, I think uh, I would like to share also that this system is actually customizable and scalable to the needs of the requirement on a large scale, which I think we all believe going forward will be 
the requirement in the several industries. So the system here is, as I said, quite adaptable and scalable, where we can go into even a eight and a half megawatt configuration with 12 modules or multiply it into multiples of hundreds of megawatts if we need a higher capacity, which not only helps in reducing the cost of uh, green hydrogen that we produce because of the optimization of the BOP but also gives you a good saving on the footprint that you would need in installing such a large capacity as per your requirement and how do we achieve all this I think I would only take a short time here to explain a little bit how the efficiency of the system is achieved and how does it vary as I mentioned, we can have achieved the efficiencies of around larger than 76% if we have just the system or the M module. But if we have to factor in the entire SIL as a system where we have certain losses coming from the transformer and rectifier, probably we can get a efficiency of just less than 0.5% lower. And it also goes a little bit half a percent lower if we want to add in the chiller and the cooler systems into that. And if we need a specific pressurized system, then I think efficiencies can be achieved at even greater than 72% and at 10 degrees Celsius. So I think this was just to give you a feel about how efficient the system is, even if we load it into the full capacity, we are able to have very good efficiencies and deliverables of green hydrogen at full load and here i give you a very quick glimpse not to get into the technical details but i just wanted to give you a feel about when we have a startup of the system i think as i mentioned earlier the system is capable of getting to full production capacity in less than a minute and when we have uh, the initial startup from standby mode, I think it takes around 30 seconds by the time we are able to achieve 100% load for production and then there is a purging cycle. So within a minute, I think we are able to achieve the green hydrogen production at the highest purity on the terminal point. And also it has a very quick shutdown cycle of around 20 seconds. But the main beauty which I wanted to highlight over here is that it also has a very good response to the intermittent renewable power source that you would feed into the system. And it can have a dynamic range of or a ramp rate variation of 10% per second, which is so fantastic that I think no other system is able to deliver and support in this manner today. And you can go up to 5% minimal load as well. So that is the best part that we want to share with you on the Silizer where we all know that today we are all banking on the green energy or the green source of electricity in order to achieve a performance where it can cater to the fluctuating source of electricity or power. So all in all, I think, uh, I would only like to summarize here by saying that we have a system which is extremely efficient, which is highly modular, which is maintenance friendly, which is scalable. And moreover, we have the possibility of even connecting it digitally where we can give you remote support as well by taking the data onto the cloud. And uh, I think having said that, I would only take a minute more to explain to you that the, the electrolyzer is just one part of the entire power to x solution that I was mentioning earlier that we can deliver from the house of Siemens because Siemens being into every foray of generation transmission and distribution and the green hydrogen, I think right from the renewable energy from our Siemens Gamesa to the transmission products from our portfolio to the electrolyzer and right up to the derivatives that we want to have for our end use. We can deliver that along with a partnership that we can bring for your end use. To, give you, to quickly give you a glimpse of you know, some of the references that I was mentioning earlier in my 
presentation. I think this is the details of the project which we implemented at Mines in 2015, where we set up a small plant or a pilot plant where the green hydrogen produced was delivered to the nearby industrial companies and also fed into the natural gas grid because it was being tested on a pilot basis. And also they wanted to make a test case into the mobility sector. So we were also delivering the hydrogen into the refueling stations where they found that this application is really making a good value and meaning for the further commercialization. And here is the project that I was referring called Edge to Future, which is a flagship European project where we implemented a six megawatt Silizer 300 system into a steel plant where the green hydrogen produced was replacing the carbon based fuels for the steel making process. And also it was being used to cater to the grid fluctuations that were being felt into the system from the renewable source of power. So I think having said this, I would uh, really like to show you also in reality through a small video clip about one of our reference projects. So maybe can we have the video clip please? H2 Future. Global CO2 emissions are to be almost completely eliminated by 2050. This presents major challenges to industry as well as to energy providers. Part of the H2 Future research project is aimed at discovering new methods for energy supply and thus opening up new prospects for the gradual decarbonization of steel production. The world's largest pilot plant for carbon-free production of hydrogen is being operated for this purpose in Linz. Up to 100% of the electricity required for this comes from renewable energy. The pilot plant has been used to test whether the technology deployed there is suitable for large-scale industrial production of green hydrogen. The potential of the hydrogen plant for providing grid services and the possibility for balancing fluctuations in the electricity grid are also being studied. The core of the new plant is a highly dynamic proton exchange membrane electrolyzer with a capacity of 6 megawatts. The plant produces 1,200 cubic meters of hydrogen per hour. That is significantly more than in comparable systems to date. In electrolysis, electricity is used to break water down into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen that is produced is fed into the first Alpina gas network. The long-term goal is to use the new technology to replace fossil fuels like coal or natural gas with green hydrogen. The new plant is currently the only one of its kind worldwide and is a technological lighthouse project. H2 Future, a joint project of Verbund, First Alpine, Siemens, Austrian Power Grid, K1 Met and TNO, supported by the European Union. So thank you very much, uh, dear colleagues.